Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel, it's Jo here, I hope you're all well and having a wonderful day and that you're looking forward to your weekend. If you're new here, I'm Jo, I do craft videos, I do three a week and then I do a Poundland haul every fortnight. If you leave a comment, I'll always reply, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up and if you've not subscribed and you want to see more, then it'd be wonderful if you could subscribe. And yeah, if you're returning, as always, my friends, welcome back. Thank you so much for your continued support. I love you all to bits. Honestly, you guys have changed my life. I can't even express how happy I am right now. So yeah, let's get into today's video. So I wanted to have a go at making some small topiary trees. And this is because I'm going to be using them in my fairy garden. So I just thought for now I would upcycle this plant stand, um, plant stand candle holder and see what they look like there idea that I had of making these trees so I'm using some miniature pots that I got from Asda they were 50 pence each and I'm going to use that in this candle holder and then I picked up some little salt and pepper shakers from a charity shop I think I paid £1.25 for them and then I was going to use these little cutouts and make my own flowers for the trees but in the end I used some that I got from a charity shop a while ago I'm using some filler this is from Poundland it's already mixed to cover the holes in the salt and pepper shaker and then I pulled out some coloured paper which I was going to use but I didn't in the end and then for the trees I used an old plant and then some paper flowers you'll need a mixture of paint I used the peacock green acrylic paint from um, Poundland and some white and I mixed it and then I also used some of the Easter nests. These are from Poundland and three of the polystyrene balls. And these were from Poundland in the Christmas section last year. Then I picked this top up from a charity shop. It's like Diamante and I'm going to use some of that to put around the little pots. And I also used some pearl garland and some pearl braids. And I've heard now that you can't get the pearl garland anymore from Poundland. It's old stock. They're not getting any more. So I'm so upset because I use it in everything. And um, this is all that I've got left. And then I pulled out some fabric and some ribbon that I didn't use in the end. You'll need a glue gun, a pair of tweezers, a pair of scissors, a pair of wire cutters, a pen and a ruler. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to paint this candle holder it's looking a little bit tired i would love to have left it white but i'm going to mix the acrylic metallic paint from poundland with some white just because um the acrylic paint is really thin from poundland this metallic one so i'm going to mix the two So I've done three coats and I've let it let it dry in between each each coat and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the polyfiller and just fill in the holes in the salt and pepper shakers. This is already pre-mixed and it was a pound for quite a large tub so I'm just going to use a little bit, pop it in with my fingers and then take off the excess and then they'll be ready to paint. I'm going to paint them in the same colour as the stand that we've just painted. And I'm going to do, I think I did three coats in the end, let them dry in between each coat so that it would match the holder. So now that everything's drying, I'm going to take my three little pots and I'm just going to use a piece of card from an old cardboard box and I'm just going to trace around the outside and I'm going to do one for each pot. I'm just going to cut them out with a pair of scissors and then I'll be back. So I've got my little sections of card and I want them to fit inside the pots and leaving about a centimetre gap from the top. So I'm just going to now trim round it until it's small enough to fit inside but not too small that it goes all the way down to the bottom of the pot. And once I've done this with the one, I'm going to do it with the other two as well. So 
So now I've got my cardboard in my little pots. I'm going to create the stems for the topiary trees and I'm just using some wooden food sticks. I picked these up from Poundland in the garden section last year. You can get them from Asda and I'm sure you can get them from other supermarkets as well. And I measured six, six, in six inches to start off with. And then later on in the video, I decided that I didn't want them that long. So I cut them again, but I'll show you that when I get to it in the video. So for now, I did six inches in length. And then all I'm going to do is poke it through the card in the center of the pots. And then I'm going to glue that in place. So I'm just going to hold it and then put a load of glue around the base of the stick. And then straighten it so it's straight. And then leave it to dry. I'll do that with the other two and we can get on to the next step. So now I'm going to start to cut up this um, top. It was ripped, so I managed to pick it up for a pound. And yeah, I'm going to use this. I'm sure I'm going to use all of it. So if you've got some diamante strips that's already in a ribbon, obviously you won't need to do this. But I'm just going to measure just over a centimetre and cut three strips. And then I'm going to use this to put it around the little pots. So I'm just going to start at the back of the pot. I'm going to glue it in place and then work my way around and then obviously glue the end in place. And I'm going to do that on all three. And then I'm going to add some pearl garland as well around the outside of that. And I'm going to make sure that it's in the middle of the diamond or diamante gems that we've just put in place. And I'm just going to start off by gluing the end in place and then missing a couple of pearls and then adding a little bit of glue and then working my way around to the other side. Then to finish off, I'm going to use some of the pearl braids. I've taken the back off using some wire cutters and I'm just going to put one in the center of each part. I'm just going to use a bit of glue and pick it up with a pair of tweezers because they get really hot and then just glue it in place. So now we can start to get everything together and I'm going to take the eggs out of these little nests from Poundland. I don't like the plastic eggs so I'm just going to pull them out. And then I'm going to start gluing everything together. So I'm going to start off with the little pots. I'm going to glue them in place. I'm just going to add some glue around the outside of the pot. I'm making sure that the pearl embellishment or braid is facing the front. And now all three are in place, I'm going to add the birds and the bird nests. 
so I'm going to start by gluing the birds into the nests and I'm going to pop one on each side. And then to finish off, I'm just going to glue the nest to the side of the candle holder. And I made sure I use quite a lot of glue for this. So everything's glued together and now I'm going to add the polystyrene balls to the top of our sticks that we've put in and I'm just going to place them on in the center and push them down. So they're in place and I've decided I'm going to actually paint these. I was going to leave them white at first, but I'm going to paint them in a dark green color. And this is because the leaves that I'm going to be using is quite light and it's not showing up that well on the white background. So I'm going to paint in a dark green so that the green leaves show up more. And I'm just going to do, I did three coats in the end. I let them dry in between each one and I'm going to paint all the whole of the polystyrene ball. And once they're dry, I will be back. So the three coats are done and I took them out to also paint them and this is where I decided to cut them a little bit shorter, the sticks. I'm going to take off an inch and a half, um, so I started off with six inches so there's four and a half inches left so originally I should have cut them at four and a half inches but in the in the end we got there so I just trimmed an inch and a half off and I'm, I'm happy with them. They were too tall but yeah I'm happy with how they are now. So now I'm going to use this plant that I picked up from Poundland and what I'm going to do is I've just pulled the stems out of the base and now I'm going to take these apart. So each section is like a circular leaf and I'm going to cut each section so that we've got a little piece. I'm going to take off the stem from the bottom and in the center of it so that we can add our flowers later on and this is what I'm going to be using to cover the polystyrene balls. I ended up using the whole plant to do all three trees and I'm going to definitely be going back and getting some more of these because like I said I'm going to be doing this for my fairy garden so I wanted to see what they were like. When I do them for my fairy garden I'm probably not going to put the flowers on and I won't do the pots but I'm going to be doing the basis for the trees. So I'm just going to start at the top and glue one right in the centre and then I'm going to work my way around making sure that the leaves overlap and there's no gaps. And just adding a little bit of glue in the center at the back and then just placing it onto the polystyrene ball like so so i'm going to do that to all three completely cover them and i will be back so I've done all three and I absolutely love how they look without the flowers on. It's going to be perfect for my fairy garden. So I'm definitely going to be doing these in future. And now I'm just going to add some white stones. These are from B&M's, paid 149 for a tub. And I'm just going to add it around the base of the topiary ball or topiary tree. Making sure that we cover the cardboard that we put in place. I 
And now the last thing I'm going to do is I've got some little paper roses that I got from a charity shop. I got a huge box for a couple of quid and I'm just going to pop these in the centre and round the outsides on all three trees. So here it is. I'm really happy with how they look. I'm so looking forward to doing these trees for when I do my fairy garden. Like I said, when I do my fairy garden, I'm not going to put flowers on them. I'm just going to have them plain. But I absolutely love them. I hope you've enjoyed today's video, guys, and that it's give you some ideas. And I will see you on Monday for my next craft video. Take care for now. Have a wonderful weekend. Love you loads. Bye.